We will now receive the reports of the Secretariat. Dr. Matthew Looney, ICAC data scientist, who will present on World Cotton Market Outlook. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, delegates, ladies and gentlemen. I am pleased to now present the Secretariat's 2021-2022 outlook for the cotton market with a look at production, consumption, stock levels, and prices, highlighting our current expectation for consumption to slightly outpace production and a global stock level readjustment. We will start by looking at cotton prices for the last two seasons. The international reference price of cotton, as measured by the Cotlook A index, has risen dramatically during the 2020-2021 season and continues its rise into the 2021-2022 season. We did, however, see a 22% decrease in price of cotton during the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. On December 31st, 2019, the World Health Organization was alerted to a flu-like virus outbreak in the Wuhan province of China. On January 29, 2020, the White House Coronavirus Task Force was formed. On February 23rd, the Italian government effectively shut down their country, precipitating the next fall in prices. On March 11, 2020, the World Health Organization declares COVID-19 a pandemic. From January 29 to April 1, 2020, the Kotluk A index fell by 22.5%. This price fall was a direct result of the uncertainty caused by COVID-19. The price stabilized starting April 1st, 2020 and remained stable with only a slight upward trend for the continuation of 2019-2020. However, that slight upward trend continued well into the 2020-2021 season and did not relent as we entered the 21-22 crop season. The current price of cotton is at a level not seen in over 10 years. Cotton is an agricultural product, and the uncertainties in production, consumption, weather, and pest pressures all contribute to the price volatility surrounding these uncertainties, not to mention the effects of a global pandemic. The high volatility in price is likely to remain intact for the remainder of the 2021-2022 season, but it is unlikely the price will continue to increase much beyond the current point. In contrast to the price volatility witnessed as a result of the global recession of 2008-2009, where prices during the 2010-2011 season hit an all-time high of 243 cents per pound, the ICAC's world stock estimates are currently at 20.46 million tons, compared to 10.5 million tons for world stocks during the 2010-2011 season. <clears throat> this suggests that global stocks are currently sufficient to accommodate increased demand which is estimated to increase slightly into the 2021-2022 season. However, the high price of cotton may temper demand. We'll now look at uh, global production decreases and consumption increases in the 2020-2021 season. Global production decreased 7% in 2020-2021 to 24.3 million tons. The global leader in production, India, saw a 3% reduction from the previous season's 6.2 million tons, putting the 2021, 2020, 2021 total production for India at 6 million tons. The second largest producer of cotton, China, saw a 1.9% increase in production to 5.9 million tons. The production increase is this production increase is despite a 3.9 reduction in area, giving China the best yield realization in their history at 1,864 kilograms per hectare. The United States remains the third largest producer at 3.2 million tons, a large reduction of 27% from the 2019-2020 production season, total of 4.3 million tons. This large decrease in the U.S. was driven in part as a result of significantly lower area harvested, especially in Texas. The area harvested in 2020-2021 season was down just over 28%. Brazil's production was down by 22%, putting production at 3 million tons. Reduction in area was again the reason for the lower production numbers in Brazil, with an area of 1,371 hectares, down 18% from the previous season. Pakistan's production fell by 33% to 890,000 tons. This level has not been seen in Pakistan since the mid-1980s. 
The severe decrease in production was due to several factors. First, a reduction of 21% in the area was to blame for a large part of the reductions. However, crop damage from heavy monsoon rains and severe pest infestation all added up to reduce the production in Pakistan. West Africa saw a 20% drop in production to 1 million tons. Global cotton consumption in 2020-2021 season was up 13% over the previous season's disappointing 22.7 million tons. This increase was the result of high levels of post-COVID shutdown orders from mills in all of the top cotton-consuming countries. China, India, and Pakistan accounted for 16.3 million tons, well over half of all cotton consumed in 2020-2021 season. Bangladesh, Turkey, Vietnam, Uzbekistan, Brazil, and the United States all posted increases in consumption during the 2020-2021 season. With lower than expected production during the 2020-2021 season, coupled with high consumption in all of the top cotton consuming countries, leaves global ending stocks lower than the previous season. However, ending stocks in the 2020-2021 season still remain above the previous three seasons prior to 2019-2020. This sets up the 2021-22 season with adequate beginning stocks to help accommodate a continued increase in mill use into the 2021-2022 crop year. We'll now look at the uh, outlook for 2021-2022 season. While global cotton consumption continues the recovery begun in 2020-2021, the Secretariat's current projection for consumption in 2021-22 is 25.63 million tons, a 0.13% decline over the previous season. China is reporting a 200,000 ton decrease in consumption from the previous season, which amounts to a 2.38% reduction. However, all other major cotton-consuming countries are currently reporting an increase in consumption. Uzbekistan is reporting a 5% increase in consumption to 836,000 tons. Turkey, Bangladesh, Vietnam, the United States, and Brazil are all reporting consumption increases over the 2020-2021 season, which total 158,000 tons. While this is not enough to overcome the decline posted by China, the season is still early and consumption numbers are likely to change as the season matures. Global production is expected to increase this season by 25.73 million tons. Against consumption, production estimates at this point in the season show that supply is sufficient for estimated demand. Global production appears to be outpacing or on par with consumption at a time when forecasts for global consumption growth are increasing and global stocks are growing. Favorable forecasts for production and increasing global stock levels in 2020-2021 appear to continue to support increased demand if demand continues to hold strong. India leads the world in production at 5.9 million tons. This is 2% lower than last year, but still higher than China, who is currently reporting 5.73 million tons. China's numbers are down by just over 3% from the previous season. The United States and Brazil are both reporting increases in production over the 2020-2021 season. The U.S. is reporting a 20% increase in area and a 25% increase in production over the 2020-2021 season. Brazil is reporting a 10% increase in area and a 14% increase in production. The 2021-2022 crop from West Africa is expected to be at an all-time high with over 1.48 million tons. With the exception of the 2020-2021 season, this reflects a fifth season of steady growth in area and production. Benai, Burkina Faso, Cote d'Ivoire, Mali and Togo reported expansions of planted area for the 2021-2022 season. The previous season in West Africa was plagued by, plagued by a pandemic, drought, pest pressure, and late sowing. Many of these problems have not presented in the 2021-2022 season. However, late season flooding is currently affecting Benai, Chad, Cote d'Ivoire, and Togo. It remains unclear if this will result in damage to the cotton crop for 2021-2022. Planted area in Pakistan increased to 2,100 hectares, a 5% increase over the previous season. In addition, well-timed rains are likely to boost production and yields for Pakistan in 2021-2022 season. Production in Uzbekistan is projected to decrease slightly as land under cotton is expected to be switched to other agricultural products. However, since 2016, the entire cotton sector has undergone radical reform and production of cotton is now entirely owned by private companies. It was formally controlled wholly by the state. 
It will be interesting to monitor how cotton in Uzbekistan progresses over the next few seasons. Turkey's area and production are both estimated to increase during the 2021-2022 season. Consumption is currently projected at 25.63 million tons in 2021-2022, a modest 0.13% decrease over the 2020-21 season. East Asian and South Asian economies are expected to continue to lead the world in cotton consumption based on volume, but growth, if any, is expected to be modest in 2021-22. Current estimates on raw cotton consumption include 8.2 million tons by China, Consumption in India is expected to remain constant at 5.7 million tons. Against major cotton-consuming countries reliant on imports, double-digit consumption growth has been seen for several years, with the exception of the 2020-2021 season. Consumption in Bangladesh is currently projected to increase 1% to 1.66 million tons in 2021-22. In Vietnam, where consumption has been sharply increasing from 2006-2007, Consumption growth is expected to increase slightly in 2021-22 to 1.54 million tons, with supply chain chains for yarn and fabric being reported as well supplied. Limited opportunities for movement are not expected to increase the flow of raw cotton upstream. However, logistical challenges, if they persist, could cause problems for countries that are reliant on cotton imports. With the exception of India and China, area under production is expected to increase in the United States, West Africa, and Pakistan. West Africa is expected to increase their area an impressive 885,000 hectares, a 36% increase over the previous season. Ending stocks for the 2021-2022 season are estimated to increase 1% to 20.46 million tons. China's ending stocks have depleted considerably since the 2014-15 season, where they dominated the global stocks. Currently, the cumulative world total exceeds China's holdings by 1.8 million tons. However, China individually holds more stocks than any one country by far. If strong demand materializes and production remains at or below the current forecast, global ending stocks could drop significantly. We'll now look at key messages and implications. The total estimated value of global production for 2020-2021 is 45.52 billion US dollars. That moved to 62.26 billion dollars in the 2021-2022 season. This increase in value of production from the 2021 to 21-22 season is largely driven by the current elevated price of cotton. Which leads me to the conclusion of this outlook presentation as we move forward to find innovative and sustainable solutions for cotton. Production leads consumption very slightly in the 2021-2022 season. If mill use remains strong, consumption will outpace production. Global ending stocks could decline significantly. However, the global ending stocks from the previous season are sufficient to make up any shortfalls in production. Price is likely to remain elevated for the remainder of the 2021-2022 season. However, it is unlikely that we will see levels as high as 200 cents per pound again. Thank you.